Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to place an order in table service mode in Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series. We'll begin by logging in as one of our active users, and when we do, we'll see that we are automatically placed in direct sale mode, which is the default sales mode for Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series. To switch it into table service mode, we would simply need to add a tab name or assign a table to this order. So we're going to assign a table by tapping the Tables button on the keypad. And we can see here a list of tables that are already in use, any active orders that we currently have going. If I tap the Floor Plan button, however, I can see a larger floor plan of the restaurant and clearly indicate which tables are currently in use. I'm going to assign Table 5 to this order. We can see that Table 5 is designated as a four-seat table. You can add seats by tapping select a seat next to table. Tapping the plus sign will add a seat, a second, third, a fourth. If I scroll that over and add a fifth, notice that the number of covers also goes up to five, meaning it's always best to add the number of seats before adjusting the number of covers. In this case, since there's no items added on any of these seats, if I just scroll back down to two, Everyone else will disappear, and I can adjust my covers back down to where I want them. Once we've got our seats and our covers taken care of, we can see that we are already in course one, which is going to be drinks. Seat number two is going to have an iced tea, so I will tap iced tea. And seat number one is going to have fruit lemonade. And then let's say they wanted to share for the table. I can tap table and go into sides and they're going to have some sweet potato fries with that. Now in this case we only have the one cover, so there's only going to be one bill anyway, but you can see here on the order that the sweet potato fries are listed as shared while the drinks are assigned to a particular seat because of the seat I had selected when I input the menu item. We're going to get them started with this and I'm going to tap send items. And when I do, it's going to automatically fire that course. So those orders are placed with the kitchen and they are underway. When I come back with their drinks, I can go back into my profile. And we're of course going to want to find the existing order. So I can tap the orders button and we'll see here the tables that we have currently underway. Alternately, I can tap tables, see the floor plan and select the table that I want. Or if we already know the table number, I can simply tap five and then tables and it'll take me right to table five. We're gonna add a course by tapping the add a course button in the order. And we're gonna order some salads. Seat number one, we'll have a Caesar salad. And seat number two, we'll have an Asian salad. They wanna order their main courses at the same time. So I'm going to tap add a course again and we will go to main courses where seat number one will have the mac and cheese and seat number two will have beef stroganoff. With all of this set up, I can send these four items, but they are not fired yet. We're going to assume that they're still working on their drinks and their sweet potato fries for the time being. So when I see that they are getting ready for their salad course, I can go back into that profile. I can tap tables here on the keypad and see a list of active tables, and we're going to select table number five. And then I can see here on the keypad, I've got the option to fire course. So I'll tap that, and that sends that off to the kitchen so that they know to begin preparing the salad course. Eventually, they'll be done with those, and they'll be ready for their main course. So I'll tap back into my user profile, grab my table, and if I tap tables here and see the active orders, we can even see here the number of people at the table. Four out of four for table one, and table five accommodates four, but currently only has two. And we can see which course each table is on. So table five on their second course is the table that I want to select. And we're going to fire their third course. Tapping fire course. And when I come back in, and I select table five by hitting five and then tables, I can scroll the order down, see what they're up to, and of course there is no fourth course to fire, so in lieu of a fire course button, we have print bill, which I'll tap 
Now, when we head back in and tap tables, we can see here clearly that table five has had their bill given to them and they are simply waiting to pay. That concludes this video, but be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.